show for you. Uh, some awesome stuff we'll talk about. Obviously, we're into 2019 right now, and we're talking about, you know, we just talked about last issue, which was goals, mm-hmm. right? And so we kind of talked about that overall, and the reality of the situation is that everyone wants to have success. We talked about goals. We talked about, you know, uh, targets in the last one, mm-hmm. right? And so today's topic is show me your plan, and I'll show you your future. And so what's your thought in that? We talk about that. We'll obviously dig in. What's your thought on that? There's an old phrase that says, uh, if you fail to plan, you better plan to fail. Yeah. And specifically taking that to a deeper level, you know, specifically everyone sets targets, goals. We talked about that, having very, very specific targets. What we find is that always creates the gap, mm-hmm. right? We call it the chasm between where you are right now and the goals that you have. Right. And so what we find is, and definitely listen to this, and a lot of people will listen for like two or three minutes and they get off, stick with us, right? Because there's some value in this, but it stacks up in regards to what it does, right? Mm-hmm. And so what happens is you have where you're at now to, to where you got to go nine days later. Right. The reason they don't get pulled off most of the time is because the person that you are now is not able to pull those goals off. Right. Technically, you know why? Because if you could have, you already would have in the previous, right? right? And so that's just something to watch and see from that regard. The other part of that is obviously, you know, actually having a plan. Mm-hmm. What I find is everyone has a goal. They get all hyped up. We just had the you know beginning of the year. Then all these goals are all hyped up. We've all been there. And then what happens? We start to do it, and then we figure out we don't really know how to get there. That's we exactly think right. we do, but it's not broken down to the micro level that it needs to be. Mm-hmm. And so specifically, right, we see this happen all the time with agents out there, right? So agents out there, the disconnect is always usually in the actual execution. And so they have, here's my plan, I want to sell X amount of homes, 40 homes, right? And I'm going to do this. And then what happens is there's not a day-to-day. And so what I find is that most people desire to be successful. Most people want to be successful. Most people just come into work, at least in real estate, in other offices I've seen people we talked to recently, mm-hmm. they just don't know what to do. They don't know what to do in the morning. They don't know what to do in the afternoon. They don't know what to do all the time. And so what happens in that space of uncertainty is where the doubt creeps in. Right. What's been your experience in talking to people who, who've kind of been in that situation? You know, it's it, I was personally in that situation at one point and obviously interviewing folks and, and talking to a lot of them are in that situation too. And I think what a lot of people don't realize is moving into real estate, you have to think like a CEO, CFO, CTO, CMO. You've got all these roles wrapped into one, whereas you may be used to being an employee, but you've got to think like a business person. And if you're, if you're coming in, you don't have a plan, obviously you're going to get confused uh, with what you need to do day to day. Uh, but it is those small things day to day that add up into the big targets. It's just how do you get there? How do you plan for it? How do you make it micro? Right. And so that's one thing that you know I found is what we mentioned last time is the reverse engineer production mm-hmm. called REP. Right. Mm-hmm. So you have to have a target. But one of the first things that we start out with and suggest having is the IWS. We talk about that. The ideal weekly schedule. It's super important to have that. Have yourself an ideal weekly schedule. We used to have a brand new person this week. Mm-hmm. Right. We have designed what the perfect schedule for most cases would be. It's obviously real estate. You want to do what you, you want and have different things going on. And so ideally, you want to have the, the ideal weekly schedule set up, which is time blocks, we call it, mm-hmm. to allow you to fill up that space of uncertainty, right? Sure. What has been your experience of kind of seeing that? Well, it's, it, it's mind-blowing. Uh, you just don't know what you don't know, and you also don't know what other people don't know. So uh, looking at these ideal weekly schedules, I think we've all said it before that freedom is the biggest killer of people in real estate, uh, but you do have the freedom to set up your schedule. Do you have the integrity to follow those time blocks and do the same time, same place every day and actually think like a business person on that level? That's My experience is trying to rewire brains to do that. Right, and part of that, you know, the... The reality of the secret of real estate or any business is that you're going to have to do the same mundane task consistently to be successful in anything. Mm-hmm. doesn't matter if you're going to the gym. doesn't matter if you want to have an amazing relationship. doesn't matter if you want to have an amazing business. It's going to take massive discipline on a level that's really the micro level. And so what, what you find is, right, people have a plan on still X amount of homes, but they don't have it broken down into a daily target to be able to win. Absolutely. And so what I find is we have all these things that are not reverse engineered. So us, for example, um, give the example of the targets, right? Absolutely. We kind of, I, I, this is what I forgot on last week's show, uh, an idea of kind of what we do every 90 days, very simple one page life business plan, right? right? We call it a 90 day challenge overall in regards to what we have. And so it's got your body, your being, your balance, your business, a 90 day target at the end. Mm-hmm. And so what that means ideally is that you have a target 
that's you know you hit that yes or no at the end. Right. We talked last episode. You can go watch it. The problem with those goals is they're, they're, they're not yes or no. Right. They're kind of maybe. Well, did I lose some weight? And so <laughs> the reality is it's got to be very specific. And then the problem is most people aren't able to bridge the gap mm-hmm. because it's kind of honestly just painful to go through the workplace of actually working out what are my targets. So we take the 90-day target. Mm-hmm. We break it up into chunks. Sure. We have a 30-day benchmark. Right. What's the benchmark? I'm going to hit 30 days. This will make sense in a second. What's my benchmark for 60 days? Mm-hmm. And then ultimately, my ultimate benchmark, which is my goal in 90 days. Right. And so we do this in four different challenges that year right? Sure. to level up massively in that regard. And so what the idea there and what the, the purpose is, is to get to a 30 day target, mm-hmm. which we then reverse engineer again. Right. And talk about that a little bit and how we do that. So what we do is we have, you know, as an agent, we have one thing for the week that makes everything else irrelevant. And I think as an agent, anyone can agree that getting a home under contract should be that one thing. But then what we have before that are four keys that prop it up. And it, and it looks like this at the end of it. And so my, my whole goal and mission is like how do we simplify success sure. for people, right? And so one of the things that we do every single week to help us have that plan, right? How do you avoid that pain of uncertainty every week? And if you're like many agents watching this, Right, you have an, every single person I've talked to that you know is applied here has just say they hey, I want to be successful, I desire to be successful, I just don't know what to do. Right, this is assuming that you got leads. Right, assume <laughs> that you got leads. The reality is like I don't know how to fill my time. Mm-hmm. Right? I get up, I'm like, sure, I check some email, and so the reality is to have massive success like you want, you've got to have structure. Yes. Right, you've got to have an actual plan, and so what we do is we create like you said the 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 one door we call it. Right? What's my one thing, no matter what this week, i got to get done? So in our case, a lot of times, that is getting a property under contract. Yes. Right? Now, we break that into what we call the four keys. The four keys are going to help us unlock that door. Mm-hmm. And so it could be phone calls, you know, different targets. Obviously, we're not going to reveal our targets. But we help our, our team mm-hmm. identify the targets that are going to be most likely. For me, for example, one of the four keys for me this week was to film this. Right. right? And so I didn't really want to do that. i got all kinds of things going on. A uh, crazy thing, I just got to... No case here on my credit card. Somebody charged four hundred dollars worth of uh, rubber gloves from Hawaii on my child. Oh my! My credit card. So that's right before we walk in here. But the reality is, because I have a clear target, mm-hmm. aka I got to get this done today. Guess what? I had to shut that off. Come right down here. Get refocused mm-hmm. to allow me to come towards a target after this week. Absolutely. You stack these up because the reality is, we all have these things that hit us throughout the week that are sideways. That may obviously we all know life does not go. How it's supposed to be. Sure. Right? I read a book this morning, a great book that talks about uh, life is one big mind game. And so how we react to that mind game is what determines our success or failure. This key here allows us to be able to get to that. At the end, it has a check mark. Did I hit that? Yes or no? There's no way to hide. And so we get leverage on ourselves in that aspect mm-hmm. to help us do that. And so this is a simple tool that you can use that helps you get success in business as well, right? right? From that standpoint. Then we break that weekly four keys into what? Daily wins. Right? Daily wins, right? Holy cow. It's so simple. <laughs> it seems so simple, but it's so difficult, right? right? For people. And so we have an awesome, amazing culture here, accountability, weekly leaders. And the weekly leader helps us. Everybody has their own daily goal. Mm-hmm. What's my one goal, my one target for that day for me to hit, right? And I'll talk about this in a second. The one missing link that most people do not have is this one thing, which I'll share in a second. And it starts with an A. But the reality is having the daily win allows you to reverse engineer your weekly into your daily. Absolutely. Now all of a sudden I won Monday, I won Tuesday, I won Wednesday, I won Thursday, I won Friday, and all of a sudden I get to the end of the week, holy crap, I just won the whole week. Exactly. Second part of that, we do the same thing the next week. Mm -hmm. And so it's just discipline that works. And it's not like it's not fun. Right. This is just reverse engineering success. If I know I want to be successful in the gym, guess what? I'm going to go to the gym every day. One day I do upper body, one day I do upper lower body, one day I do abs and cardio. You know, it's the same thing. Now, incorporate that with a specific diet. That's how you get results. Exactly. The same exact thing that people do in business. And so that's how they're able to be able to come into. And so this is very simple stuff that we allow us to have. It allows you to know at the end of the week, did I win this week? Yes or no. There are some days you don't win. But the reality is that's how you're able to make yourself readjust. Right. And so what's been your experience in kind of seeing that before? It's all about the focus. Having a clear focus every day, every week, every month allows you to not be burnt out. One thing I hear among agents all the time, whether whether we're interviewing them or not, is, oh, I'm so busy, I'm so busy, I'm so busy. But then you look at the school board at the end of the year, and they weren't really that busy. I think they were making themselves busy because they didn't have a clear focus on what their next win is going to be. Right. And that's something we can teach in the next podcast to remind me of is, mm-hmm. so are you on offense all the time or are you on defense? Right. 
people tend to get sucked in this world of reactionary mode. And so reactionary mode does not get you success in real estate. Right. It helps you get you maintained. And so in today's time, people get so uh, caught up and addicted to maintenance, mm -hmm. right? Maintenance will have emails, communication, scheduling, you know, helping them figure out electricity. We're talking about today, right? <laughs> yeah. The reality is you've got to be able to focus your time on hunting, mm -hmm. which is obviously helping serving more clients, find more clients to have that level of success, right? Absolutely. And so what most people lack, and here's the two things I kind of written down. Uh, I can't remember the first one. I'll come back to that. Oh, one, a crystal clear plan of attack. Guess what? That's where these come from. A business plan, right? Do you have a business plan for yourself daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly mm -hmm. to be able to look at? So if I come in one day, I don't really feel like doing it. All I got to do is look at here and here's what I got to do, right. right? There's a lot of times like when I go to the gym in the mornings, I go to a place that's already planned out for me on purpose because I don't really want to plan a workout. I don't want to go in there and get myself motivated. I just got to get to the door. Mm -hmm. And the minute I get to the door, game on. It's right. the same thing here with this because once you have a clear target, now you know what to do each day and how to attack that day, mm -hmm. right? And so the second piece that everyone's missing, and I feel this is the most important, is accountability. Absolutely. That's the key for anyone. I mentioned this on previous podcasts, but the accountability is a missing aspect, the missing link for most people, right? Most, especially real estate, let's just be real about it. There's now different models, right? Most of which are huge uh, big boxes mm -hmm. or small boutiques that have very high splits, right? And everybody's kind of on their own. That's why if you break down average production, it's very low per agent. Mm -hmm. Because the reality is there's no true accountability. There's no true accountability that we all need in our life. We all need it in, in, our, in our body, right? relationships, business especially. Mm -hmm. Who's in your corner to help hold you accountable to make sure that you did what you said you are going to do? Right. Obviously, you want to hold yourself accountable, but there always needs to be a third party for most people. You can do it through a coach. Uh, you can do it through somebody who you work with, manager, whatever it may be. But that's kind of the crystal clear part from that aspect that I've seen overall, what's your overall thoughts and feelings on that? Accountability is is a hundred percent the missing link after focus because you can get focused on your daily wins, but are you holding yourself accountable? It's easy to hold yourself accountable if you're truly uh, uh, have the integrity to do that. However, sometimes an external source is going to be the missing link that actually puts it to that next level. Yeah. Your daily wins you're setting. Yeah, maybe you can set a low target and say, yes, I got to win for a day. But who's holding you accountable to push you to that next spot? Just push it just a little bit further each time. And so we all will consistently push that threshold of comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Comfort zone. And I know people watching here, we've all done it. You want to go have this huge, awesome plan for the day. You get in, you're not feeling it. You make a couple phone calls, send a couple emails. Oh, man, you know, it's 1 o'clock. I think I'm going to call the day. Yep. <laughs> and so the, the, no one really makes a one-time decision to not be successful. What happens is it's very small, minute decisions that happen one day here, mm -hmm. one day here, one day here. I don't really know what's going on. I don't know what to do today, so I'm just going to kind of take off. It's compromise. The confusion happens and then stacked up over time, the mm -hmm. compound effect is what leads to that, and man, all of a sudden, money's low in the bank, right? Results are low, confidence is low, and then all of a sudden, it's very hard to dig out of that hole that we all run into, and so it all starts with really one very clear plan of action, and I think that's one thing I've noticed just watching and learning and teaching people all across the really locally and also in my business, is that everyone has a, a goal, an outcome they want. What most people are missing is a crystal clear plan of execution. Mm -hmm. Is it written down to the specific amount of things? Like we have it written down to the specific amount of smoothies that people are going to have, yes. right? right? I'm going to be at this thing this many times and it's trackable, right? Do I have an app that tracks exactly what that is to allow me to have that? Why? Because it helps you get leverage on yourself. Mm -hmm. And so the reality is you have to have the crystal clear plan and the accountability. In today's time, you can use some of the apps to have the, the, the accountability, but most cases you need a third-party person that can truly kind of help you through that in that regard. Any other final thoughts that you're thinking? Man, it's just all about getting leverage on yourself and what's in between your own in, in between your own ears. But the focus and the accountability, I, I'm telling you that it's so simple that it sounds too simple. But it's really not. And it's some people are like ah, I get it. But if you take it down, and everyone does that same thing. We set goals. Like man, this is easy. And they set the goals, but the reality is when I look at it. Is not clear. It's not a yes or no ending on it. It's not a, a, an event-based outcome that really makes a difference in what they do. And so what happens is, like we talked about last time, they don't have the power to execute the business. Everyone wants a business goal, right? Most people right now are realizing, man, I just want to be really successful in business. I just need some money. I'm tired of struggling. 
And you don't realize that it's not just a money problem, right? right? It's a you problem. It's an execution in all the areas of life that's costing you. But specifically, you need a crystal clear plan. So if you're not sure when you're coming in every single day, and if you feel like you're kind of lost and just kind of floating around, mm -hmm. right, you got to find a plan. If you need somebody, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to talk to you about, you know, specific business plans and how that can actually work. Mm -hmm. But like, for example, with us, it's a clear plan. It's taking, this looks so simple and easy, but it's taking years and years and years and lots of pain to break it into. And so if you're thinking about that or you want some more questions, reach out to me. Reach out to us. You let me know. More than happy to help walk you through a business plan that will actually work for you and be able to help do that. Any questions, post them here, reply to the email, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next podcast. Absolutely.